once I, uh, after that, that Silk Road trip and um, uh, finding out that Harvey Weinstein had a, a shared passion for the subject and we put our heads together on it, the show was set up at Stars and we opened a writer's room and started developing the, the scripts. Um, but then um, at a certain point, there was a, a, a game changer. It happens all the time in, in this world. And um, the show went over to Netflix um, with a new production plan, <clears throat> new location plan, which was a really exciting uh, a shift in development. I feel like working on premium cable shows like Game of Thrones and Homeland gave me a good sense of how a show should be structured, how it should be paced. But doing a show for Netflix was actually very liberating because we didn't even have to conform to the same kinds of, you know, uh, formulas of storytelling. Because it is more of a novelistic approach, you can, you know, roll out stories more slowly, go deeper into certain stories. You don't have to set things up every week. You don't have to revisit things and backtrack. There's no previously on. It was very liberating. It was, it was kind of exciting. And in fact, they encourage you not to be repetitious in, in the way that you tell the story and let the audience catch up. So I really enjoyed that. The, the challenge was delivering all 10 hours at once. It was just, we jumped on the train and we didn't get off. And literally, we just finished you know, editing yeah. them last week. Mm -hmm.